already packing Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for That's a hard story. So we're taking the barn to an Ari Service Arizona inspection station uh, because my title says that it is a cargo trailer and now it is actually a travel trailer because it has all the amenities of a home basically. So we'll see how this turns out. I don't know Susan, tough call. Not as many on the, whatever that is, Tyson Wells or something. Or
we're right now in Earp, Cal uh, I guess California, and we are at the campsite, Crossroads campsite. It's BLM, but there is a $5 fee, and mostly because you're right on the water. So Susan is checking to see if we can spend one night here, um, because I have an appointment tomorrow at 10.30, so we'll be leaving early in the morning <laughs> in Parker. Oh well, whatever I happen to see. <laughs> we just arrived at the Crossroads campground. It's on the other side of the Parker Dam. You go down the Parker Dam Drive, uh, right where you would turn left on 62, like you're going to head to Vegas outside of Parker. Instead, you're going to turn right and follow it down for about four miles. It is $5 a day. It's first come, first serve for most things, or if not, you can go to recreation.gov and reserve your spot for what is available, but you can't reserve um, any less than 48 hours in advance. Beautiful spot. Gorgeous, gorgeous river. Although it's a campground, I'm not a big fan of them. It is spacious. Um, we don't have any neighbors up where we are because we're in the nosebleed section away from the river, but we'll take what's available. If you have uh, America Beautiful or the Access Pass, it's only $2.50 a night. Now that's a treat for all of you that do come into this area. This is amazing. Can't be beat. I would definitely be making reservations to come back here in the next month or so. Spend a few days. Just the winds, the mountains, the river. It's all so absolutely lovely around here. And there is the barn, along with Beastie. And Maggie, who's having issues with people existing in... No! No! You want to tell me again? Do you want to tell me again? You want to tell me no? Uh, uh, no. I know you don't like having limits. I understand. I get it. We all feel that way. I walked up to the camp host without a mask on. He was like, whoa, step back six feet. Can you imagine? Yes, I forgot. I forgot my mask. I did. I did. I forgot my mask. I know. Shame on me. <laughs> Goofball doesn't want to go for a walk. Little monkey. It's my little dance monkey. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> She's doing the crazy eights. She's so excited to sniff and smell. Anyway, we are so grateful that we were able to get this spot tonight. It is absolutely a lovely campground, and the views are amazing. Um, hopefully, we can get the spot again tomorrow. Um, we're going to have to be here right at checkout to grab, because it's first come, first serve, unless you make the reservations more than 72 hours in advance, or more than 48 hours in advance. Anyway, good night all, and we'll see you tomorrow in the wind. So we're back at the Crossroads RV Park. We ended up taking a different site today. So now we're in this super slim site, but we're grateful for it because the wind is up over 30 miles an hour and it's not safe for us to drive back. But what a torturous place to be stuck <laughs> during a windy day. So beautiful. The river is amazing. Just watching the sunlight glint off of the water. It is primitive.
um, but they do have the garbage cans and a vault toilet. And they have some overflow parking back there. Looks like they have one handicap side available, but I'm sure that's hard to grab. <laughs> Site 19 is the one we want to try and get reservations for. Absolutely beautiful, a wee bit secluded, gorgeous palms, and unobstructed view. Yep, with the beach area next to it. This is a beautiful place. How lovely is this? I bet you that water's not even cold yet. Come here, Max. Come here. Shh. This Go is what's water. down on the other end. Absolutely gorgeous. Maggie's like, there's grass. <laughs> what you think, Maggie? Mm -hmm. Actually, we have probably the smallest site. But we are so grateful to get it for another $2.50 for the night. We are truly grateful. And the wind is locked here, which is fantastic. It is calm, beautiful, the sun feels amazing. The ducks are happily hanging out on the water. It's just a beautiful morning, but soon we will be heading out of here on our way back to Yuma. Everything's done, the winds calm down, and it's time for us to be able to head back. But what a peaceful, beautiful morning. They have the blimp down right now. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a shot of it as we go by. Usually it's so high up that it's hard to tell the size of it. It's massive. Yeah, that is really a large blimp. Looks like a big torpedo, actually. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's like got three large, fins. Yeah, well, it's got yeah, three a fins. a large inflatable airplane <laughs> toy. <laughs> but it's humongous. It's bigger than the buildings around it. It looks like they have it strapped down just because of the winds that are going on. I know in Yuma today, it's supposed to be about 20 miles an hour right now. Not really feeling it so much out here. But I'm sure as we get into the valley area, we'll start to feel it a bit. See, there's a wee bit of traffic coming in to Yuma. 
now we're coming up on the turnoff for the Imperial Dam Recreation Area. There's some great spots out there. There's Senator's Wash, uh, there's an LTVA, or a couple of LTVAs, and also Squaw Lake. Um, great area when the weather is right to go and camp. We're about 30 minutes out of Enigma. That's about a big game. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can follow our next adventure. So you can travel with the beast. Thank That's what you. I like. <laughs>